Okay, I'm continuing on with this compressor series. I'm going to talk a little bit about compression ratio. Now, compression ratio is a comparison of suction pressure to discharge pressure. That's really all it is. It's, it's done in absolute terms, and I'll do a simple one here. But when I talked in an earlier video about re-expansion of gas, that re-expansion of gas reduces the capacity of the compressor. And as that re-expansion of gas increases because there's a wider pressure difference between suction and discharge, then the compression ratio is going to go up. So what does that mean to us? It means that, well let's take air conditioning. Air conditioning is going to have a compression ratio of between 3 and 4. Because we don't have a really wide difference between the suction pressure and the discharge pressure. So if my suction pressure, well let's, let's do it in temperature, because temperature and pressure are related. Okay, let's say I have a 45 degree suction temperature. And let's say I have 120 degrees of uh, condensing temperature. So I've got that difference between the two. Now let's put it in pressures. Okay, I've got some numbers here. And this is for R410A. My head or condensing temperature is going to be 433. That's an absolute term. And my suction temperature is 45 expressed in pressure in absolute terms is 147. Okay, if I divide that 433 by 147, I get a compression ratio of 2.94, essentially 3. I've got a compression ratio of about 3. So let's change this number. I'm not going to change this one because that is going to correspond to outside temperature. But I'm going to lower the suction pressure and let's see what happens. Okay, now I've changed these numbers. This is the same. I put the temperature down here too to make, make that a little easier. I've got 433, just like I had before, uh, pounds. And I've got 51 on the suction side. Now that's minus 10 degrees. That's going to give me a uh, box temperature of maybe around zero. Okay, when you calculate it out, it's 8.49. So it's pretty much eight and a half is a compression ratio. Now, the higher the number, the less it pumps. So this is going to be a lot less capacity. That compressor is not going to have anywhere near the capacity uh, as it had when we had the higher suction pressure. The reason for that is that re-expansion of gas. So that high compression ratio is reducing the effective refrigerating effect of the refrigeration system. In an overall sense, this just simply means that if I have to change the temperature more, if I have to change the temperature, say, from uh, 80 degrees in a structure to uh, 70 degrees, that's a 30 degree difference. But if I have to take that same 80 degrees and drop that down to zero degrees, that's going to be a much smaller compressor. It's not going to pump as much because of that wide compression ratio. That's really all there is to this. Uh, I don't know if I've explained it well or not. Uh, questions will, uh, will tell if I've done a very good job on this. But that is compression ratio. 
It doesn't mean a lot to us in the field except that we need to understand that the equipment is going to have less capacity as the temperature difference between outside and inside change. This is especially true with heat pumps because a heat pump is very, very efficient at a 45 degree outside temperature. But you get that thing down to 10 above or zero, its capacity is tiny compared to what it was at that higher temperature. And so it's not going to move as much heat. It's all about moving heat. So it's going to move less heat with a higher compression ratio. And if you don't even want to use the compression ratio, just look at the numbers, the difference, the temperature difference, the pressure difference. Remember, temperature and pressure are related in a refrigeration system. So uh, compression ratio. It determines how much refrigerating effect you get. That's all in this one.